So since we live in Slovakia, which is bordering on the Ukraine, we have a chance to see firsthand the impact on the people there. Uh, recently in our home, we welcomed um, a woman with her 13-year-old daughter from Kiev. Um, they woke up uh, at five o'clock in the morning to the sound of bombs. They had 15 minutes to decide whether to leave. They threw a few things in a bag and after four days of travel and no sleep ended up at our doorstep. And you only need to multiply that story by now three million times to get an idea of the scale of the human tragedy that's unfolding. So what we're doing, um, we've got programming in Poland, Slovakia, Romania with refugee resettlement, providing ac accommodation, advice, uh, moving into cash transfers um, for the, just uh, some of the hundreds of thousands of refugees flooding this area. Uh, but our main activity is the transport of humanitarian goods, food and non-food items into Ukraine. We have three warehouses, in one in Mukachevo, one in Ternopil, one in Chernovtsi. And we're delivering containers of product from Slovakia and Romania. And we've also purchased um, three vehicles for our Ukrainian partners who are then taking these goods further. Uh, east to Kiev, Kharkiv, and other locations where the need is greatest. We would like to thank all the integral members and other donors and companies who have been supporting us in these last weeks. And one big thanks goes to all the families in Slovakia who have been willing to accept and accommodate people from Ukraine. Thank to all the churches and everybody who have been helping in these difficult moments. Thank you.